A few of you may be adding a D into the French word avantage because you learned English before you learned French. So today, if you repeat after the speaker, you're going to correct that pronunciation and you'll be able to say it correctly without having to think about it in the future. The other two problems with today's recording are the R's for diversité and the temptation that you will have to bring your tongue back and the difficulty you'll have keeping the tip of your tongue against the inside of your lower teeth while you pronounce some of these words. So you would expect that if you pronounce a T, you're going to raise the tip of your tongue up as you do in English. But for this uh, little bit of uh, pronunciation exercise, I want to, you to keep the tip of your tongue against the inside of your lower teeth all the time for the whole a uh, little recording here. So what we're going to do first is talk about this, the end of this word, cité. So you can make that T sound, even though the tip of your tongue is against the inside of your lower teeth, you're just going to touch, uh, to make the T sound, a bit of your tongue that's a little farther back from the tip. You're going to touch that to the roof of your mouth. So I think you'll agree with me that you can say cité without moving the tip of your tongue, without letting it come back. So you keep the tip of your tongue forward, cité. And now for the D, you can also make that sound without raising the tip of your tongue up. D, V, and now we're going to make the R not by making a hissing or a scratching sound. That again would be making the mistake of bringing the tip of our tongue back because if we're making a hissing or a scratching sound, we, we would tend to pull our tongue, the tip of our tongue back in our mouth. So what we want to do instead is keep the tip of the tongue forward and think of that R as a closing off of the back of your throat, of a closing, so that the sound, there's a break in the sound, a break in the flow of air. So what we want to do is say, diversité, diversité. So I'm just letting the back of my tongue rise up to break off the flow of air. Diversité, diversité. And now, uh, let's listen to the uh, native speaker set. You will notice that the native speaker does have a little bit of a breathing sound for the R. It may sound like a hissing sound to you, but I don't want you to make a hissing sound because if you do that, again, you'll take the um, tongue out of position because you're going to end up bringing it back. We don't want to do that. Let's listen to him. Et c'est quoi l'avantage de cette diversité, 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 We do hear a little bit of breathing, de right? cette diversité de cette diversité but don't let it make de you think that you should pull the tongue back and make a scratching sound de cette no, diversité de cette diversité so what i would like you to do is say very uh, slowly de cette di ver si te and i've done that while keeping the tip of my tongue against the inside of my lower teeth. De, set, di, ver, si, te. Hopefully you were following along and repeating after me. De cette diversité. De cette diversité. Okay, next we're going to go to... Uh, Next, we're going to go to maître fleuriste. So the mistake you could make is thinking that this is, that this is maître. It's maître. Do you hear the difference? Mé, mé. Mé, mé. The correct one is maître. And then fleuriste. It's not fleuriste. It's fleur. Fleur, fleur, fleur. And then let the back of your tongue rise up to break off the sound. Fleuriste. 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 If you are pulling your tongue back in order to uh, make a hissing sound, you're going to also accidentally make an English R because you're pulling the, your tongue backwards and you're going to end up saying fleur, fleurista, fleurista. I don't want you to say that. I want you to keep the tongue forward and let the back rise up, fleurista, fleurista. And that way we get a nice E, we get a rista, rista, not rista. 
So fleuriste, maître fleuriste. All right, let's listen to the whole thing twice and then I'll let you get into your practicing. Et c'est quoi l'avantage de cette diversité des maîtres fleuristes Et c'est quoi l'avantage de cette diversité des maîtres fleuristes Et c'est quoi l'avantage de cette diversité des maîtres fleuristes Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy that. Let me know if you have any questions. Just send me an email. Have a good day.